Okay, so the goal today is to learn how to throw a cylinder that's got even and consistent walls. It's got a nice 90 degree angle here down in the bottom, and it's got even consistent thickness from, uh, on the floor and on the sides as well. So that's what we're shooting for here. I'm gonna walk you through the steps today on how to throw a cylinder. Okay, so today we're gonna learn how to throw a cylinder on the wheel. This is one of the most basic skills in ceramics, beginning ceramics class. First thing, the first step is preparing the clay and wedging the clay. And um, I'm gonna demonstrate this right now. This is called spiral wedging. You push down, rock back, half turn, push down, rock back, half turn. It starts to become one motion. This is gonna prepare a nice homogeneous mixture of clay. It's also going to eliminate any air bubbles that are in your clay so that you can make your pot on the wheel. And you want to do this about 20, 25 times per ball of clay. And I recommend that you wedge up four to five balls of clay before you sit down to your wheel so you don't have to go back and forth to the wedging table and to your wheel. And then once you get it wedged up, you want to make a ball of clay and you want to have about enough clay to be about the size of an orange. The rounder you make it, the easier it's going to be for you to be able to center it on the wheel. You want to grab a bat from the bat shelf and you want to place your bat on the wheel and then you're going to place your ball of clay on the wheel head but you don't want to put any water on the bat because the bat is plastic and it will not allow your clay to stick so just stick it directly on there without any water. You could do the same thing directly on the wheel head uh, if you want. You don't have to use a bat. Okay so the first step is to attach your clay to your wheel and then in, just as a reminder, in ceramics, um, when you're adding water to clay, it really starts to break down and deteriorate. So if you want to get a cylinder to stand up straight, the, the less water you use, the better. So to get water on the clay, you want to bounce it off your finger and put it on the clay. And posture is something that's also really important in uh, throwing on the wheel. Put your elbow here in your side or your hip if you're sitting down. If you're standing up, you can use put it in your belly. And you put your elbow in your side and put your body weight into um, your arm. It's going to transfer that into your hand and your clay. And you want to have your uh, left hand in a cupping shape like this. You're going to put it directly onto the wheel head. and you're going to be going about three-quarters speed with the pedal. So with your left hand cupped around, take your sponge in your right hand with a little bit of water and press down right here on your left knuckle. And you want to press down and forward to center that clay. If you're struggling at all to center your clay, you can use both your hands to kind of help you get it centered and then go back to the original position by putting your left hand cupping around and putting your right hand with some water in your sponge directly on your left knuckle. An important thing here is that you have your left pinky kind of curled around the bottom. You want to keep your clay in a mound rather than a flat pancake. And see this really good slip on your hand? Scrape it off and put it right back on top of your clay. That will allow you to use less water. Okay, so that's centering. And so the next step is opening. Keep your left hand in place. Use your left thumb and your two fingers in your right hand and press down in the center. You're going down in a V shape. You want to stop just short of the bottom because you want to have a floor on your pot. And this is the only thing you do with the, the wheel stopped, is checking your depth. So you want to use your needle tool. 
put it all the way down, bring it up, and you've got about a half inch um, of thickness down the bottom. By the time you're done, you'll end up with a quarter inch. So start out with a half an inch. So that's opening part A. Part B, you turn your hands this way, your right hand, into a clawing position and you use your thumb and your two fingers and you open up the clay about two and a half inches. Then what you do is you take your sponge in the center, press down and move towards three o'clock and you're flattening out that bottom. And to really help you get your nice 90 degree angle, use your wooden uh, rib that's got a nice 90 degree angle and use your uh, two hands tucked up against your body and your arms are tucked up against your body and you are going to compress that clay. That's going to compress your clay and it's also going to help you start with that nice 90 degree angle. Once you have it open, you want to recenter this mass of clay. So you take both hands and recenter this mass of clay. And then recenter the rim by pinching the, the clay with your left hand like this and draping the sponge over the rim like this. You're getting ready to uh, throw a cylinder. If you start out wide at the base and narrow at the top, by the time you get to the, the last pole, you'll end up with a straight cylinder. If you start out with something that's straight up and down, by the time you get to your last pole, you'll end up with something like this. So, go back down to the clay here, and you want to start out with a volcano shape. You can do that by pushing the top part of your rib, your wooden rib, into the clay, kind of creating a nice conical volcano shape. That's really going to help you get your cylinder as tall as you want it. Put a little bit more water on here. The next thing you have to do is you have to set up your pole. And you do that by pressing your sponge underneath the bottom side. And always when you're working on the wheel, you want to work between 1 and 3 o'clock here. That way the clay is sliding cleanly through your fingers. You don't want to be over here on the left side then the clay is coming into your fingers and your tools. It's going to jab into your fingers and knock you off center and off balance. So always work in this area. So set up your pole right here at 3 o'clock and then do the same thing on the inside. Flatten your fingers out, go down to the very bottom and push in just a little bit. So that's called setting up a pole. And Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to make your pole. So you keep your wheel at an even, consistent speed. You put your right hand down where you made that groove and your left hand down on the inside where you made that groove. Put your knuckles, uh, your thumbs together and you squeeze the clay up and inward. Make your first pull. And then you want to recenter the rim after every time you make a pull. Squeeze your uh, left hand together through the clay like this and then drape your right hand over the rim. So next, go back down, set up a pull on the outside, flatten your fingers down on the inside. Go back down and make a pull. Squeeze your clay together and come up. Notice how slow my hands are coming up. Not going up very fast at all. One of the things that you'll learn when you do this assignment is if the rim is off center like this, you can trim the rim uh, so that it's nice and level. So pinch your clay through your left hand like this, let it slide through the clay, and then take your needle tool at an angle. You don't want to go in perpendicular like this, you want to come in at an angle and level that clay off a little bit. Then recenter the rim. 
Go down, set up another pole. Do the same thing on the inside. Just these steps are just repeated. Put your hands together and come up all the way to the top. One thing you want to be careful of is to not stop in the center or in the, in the middle of your pole and stop in one place. What happens is if you stop, that place on the clay wall is going to thin out and your clay wall is going to collapse. So if you, if you feel like you're getting dry or your clay is starting to wobble, instead of stopping in one place, pull off and reevaluate. And then come back. If you need to straighten up your wall, you can use your uh, wooden rib like this. Hold your rib back at an angle and straighten up your wall and then you can start pulling again. So set up your pole on the outside. Give your place, self a place for your sponge to go underneath. Do the same thing on the inside. If you're wondering where your hands go on, on, on the clay, think about your right hand as an elevator and your left hand as the people. And the people can't get up to the top floor without the elevator and vice versa, the elevator can't go up to the top floor without bringing the people. And so uh, that will help you understand where your hands need to be uh, when you're making this pot. They have to come up at an even consistent rate. If you bring your left hand up and then your right hand up and then your left hand up and then your right hand up, you're going to end up with a, a wobbly wall. So that's, that'll be one thing that will help you to, uh, to know where your hands go. So I'm getting a little dry, so I'm going to get a little bit more water on there. Go back down, set up my pole, and then bring that clay up to the top. So that wall wobbling like that indicates that I'm, I'm thin enough and I've got enough clay up into the walls and I'm done throwing my cylinder. So I'm going to straighten up my wall by using my wooden rib at an angle like this with my left hand on the inside to support and then I'm going to come up all the way to the top. And there's still a little bit of excess clay down at the bottom that I can get rid of. Hold your wooden knife like a pencil, put your left hand on the inside and trim off some of that excess clay down at the bottom. Turn your wooden knife back like a plow like this and get rid of that excess clay. I've got a little bit of water in the bottom and I want to mop it out. Then I'm going to put my needle or wire tool under the edge like this so that I can put my wire tool underneath it. Then I'm going to take my metal rib, hold it in my hand like this and put a little bit of bend in it. My left hand on the inside and come up. This is going to take all the wet slip off the, the surface of the pot which will allow me to take off the cylinder with my hands. I'm going to go back down and make sure that I've got a nice 90 degree angle down at the bottom. I'm just kind of looking down at the profile of the edge. And then the last thing you do is you wash your hands. And then you dry them off. Take your Needle, or your uh, wire tool wrap it around your fingers tightly and run it underneath your cylinder. Then take both your hands and lift and twist. And then you'll set it down on a wear board or on a table or something. And this is the painful part after all the hard work that you've done. This is how we have to check to see how well your cylinder has been thrown. So wrap your uh, 
wire tool around your fingers tightly and then come underneath and cut it in half and let's check and see how I did. Okay, So I've got an even and consistent wall from top to bottom. I've got a nice flat 90 degree angle here and that is how you throw a cylinder.